This is Jupiter Today for the 28th of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant one, heading east. Europa starts the day in quadrant two, heading west, or quadrant three, heading west. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant one, heading east, and Callisto spends all day in quadrant three, heading west. At six hours UTC, EO is past its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant two, heading west. At 9.06 UTC, Europa goes through a perijove, that's the closest it'll be to Jupiter in this orbit, and that distance is 677,263 point4 kilometers. And at 9:56 UTC, EO goes through a perijove, and that distance is 420,027.7 kilometers. At 12 hours UTC, EO is still in quadrant two, heading west. And by 18 hours UTC, EO has transited Jupiter and is now in quadrant three, heading west. Europa is just about to begin its transit of Jupiter. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO is near its western elongation, going to be moving into quadrant four, heading east. At 1611 UTC, Callisto goes through a perijove and that's at a distance of 1,868,893.3 kilometers. And there are eight Jupiter satellite events today. At 1334 UTC, the transit of EO begins. At 1406, EO shadow ingresses. At 1552, the transit of EO ends. And at 1623, the shadow of EO egresses. And then at 1827 UTC, the transit of Europa begins. At 1932, Europa's shadow ingresses. At 2121 UTC, the transit of Europa ends. And at 2226, Europa's shadow egresses. There's one satellite mutual event today. And that goes from 5.33 to 5.35 UTC, and that's when Europa is going to eclipse Ganymede. It's a very short and shallow event. It's a two-minute event with an impact parameter of 0.985 and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.002. Ganymede is 187.95 arc seconds from Jupiter and Europa and Ganymede are separated by 28.45 arc seconds. And the visibility of this event is all of North America and some of South America. Maybe some of Hawaii over here if you want to catch that. And orbital ribbons for today. These are just the temporal and spatial connections between the four Galilean moons. So here are the connections between Eo and Europa for today, and Eo and Ganymede, Eo and Callisto, and then Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto. And I combine all these and colorize them to get that for today. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter's sky. Standing on the equator of Jupiter, looking out. Seeing what's happening in the Jupiter system over the next 24 hours. Eo going to be 
passing in front of Europa. And EO and Europa are both, both going to be transiting Jupiter from Earth's point of view today. There goes Europa's transit. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today. Actually, three times today. First at zero hours, 38 minutes. The next at 10.34 and the third time at 2030 UTC. There were no new images and no new radio data and no new papers today. The position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere today is a right ascension of nine hours, 10 minutes, 2.5 seconds, and a declination of 17 degrees, 20 minutes, 59.7 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the sun today as seen from Earth is 155.875 degrees. The phase angle, which is the angle between Earth and the Sun as seen from Jupiter, is 4.35 degrees. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth today is 661,150,601 kilometers. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 798,663,896 kilometers. And the central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 222.3 degrees, CM2, 75.24 degrees, CM3, 349.42 degrees. Time of this recording is 125 UTC on the 28th of February, 2015. So please subscribe, and thank you to those who are subscribing. Always trying to make improvements to this podcast to give different perspectives on a very dynamic Jupiter system, and to encourage all of you to observe the Jupiter system as often as you can. So you can send your comments and questions and suggestions and images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.